Hey, Jisters, it's PJ. Mom. I'm excited to... Wait, what? Keep... Oh, my goodness. What? If I hear another complaint from these kids, I'm going to lose it. I mean, I know that I'm complaining about complaining, but I'm seriously done. Well, yeah, I was just started into this thing, and all of a sudden, I got kids complaining in the background, and then... Well, babe, let's face it. You just then came and complained. I know. Well, and, okay, let's face it. I just complained. <laughs> you see how easy it is to complain? Yes. Hi, Jisters. Do you see how easy it is to quickly go negative in your thought life into a complaining spirit? One of the challenges that I think all of us have, and Bible characters had as well, and I don't think there's anyone that's going to ever rise above it in their life. There are no super Christians who cannot complain. I think we're all going to face it. Mm -hmm. When I started... Especially during this time where we're all stuck together in the same house, day in and day out, being bored. I was so stressed out, I pulled all my hair out. I wonder where it went. When I looked at the word complain in the Bible, just for a, a brief Bible study, did you know it was Job that was the most complaining? And you always hear of, like, he was went through such the time and had such a great heart about it. Yeah, it was, you know, you've heard of the patience of Job. We've yeah. seen Job's faith in the Bible. And yet, because of the circumstances he went through, he really struggled with complaining. And you know what? One of the things that isn't talked about Job a lot is he became very bitter in his heart. Mm. Because when we complain, our eyes are on ourselves. The circumstances, we think we're going through something we shouldn't have to go through. We have allowed ourselves to view ourselves higher than we ought to think. How dare we go through this? How dare you treat me like that? How dare the kids complain about dinner or complain about not getting out to play with their friends or complain about the work they have to do or the chores or the whatever? Or how dare I complain about anything in my life? And because when we do that, we're focused on ourselves. And God doesn't want us there. In fact, even David gave us the understanding of it in Psalm 142. David says in verse 2, I poured out my complaint before him. I showed before him my trouble. Verse 3, when my spirit was overwhelmed within me, then thou knewest my path. It's even King David, a man after God's own heart, got to the place where he complained. But one of the things that I want to challenge us with teens is this. Just because David got there, just because Job got there, doesn't make it right. I'm strongly of the p opinion that complaining is sin. Oh, yeah, for because sure. Because we have lost sight of God. We have lost sight of all of the amazing blessings, the bountiful blessings. The Bible says he daily loadeth us with benefits and blessings. Well, when you said that we take our eyes off of the Lord and put them on ourselves, it's a form of pride. It is. Complaining. It's a huge challenge for us, guys. And I, wanted, I want you to be challenged in your own heart. Stop complaining. Parents, if you're watching this, I want to challenge you. Be careful about your own spirit. Sometimes we get really frustrated with the kids complaining to us, and then our reaction is to, well, complain about their complaining. And all it does is teach. Complaining works. Let's just keep complaining. David had it right. His heart was overwhelmed, and he went to the Lord. So, guys, if you feel within yourself, I'm going to blow, I can't, I'm going to complain, stop and go to the Lord. So go to the Lord could be one way that we fix it, or is the number one way to fix it, and then we can follow it up with even being thankful for the things that yeah. we're not complaining about. So for I'm just thankful yeah. that I have children and that I get to be with them during this time of the COVID virus. Um, even though it can be challenging, I am thankful that I have this opportunity to spend this time because I know that they are go growing up and going to be gone soon. So... Brother Coomer mentioned a five-step process for any time you're going to hit something in your life that's going to overwhelm you. He calls it the point of impact. It could be anger, frustration, complaining, 
difficulty, anything. And he says, stop, think, because when we complain, we're emotional, we're not thinking. Turn it over. Give it over to the Lord. That's what David did here in Psalm 142. And then he says, praise and thank. And so you're absolutely right. Those are the key things. Key thing. Go to the Lord and begin to start thanking him for the things that he's done in your life. In every thing, two, two separate words in the Bible, give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. So even you know, the stress. When, um when we complain, I feel like more is it just a sin. It really does hurt God's heart. Yeah, it does. I feel like I agree. Um, we're saying that the way that his will is for us or the things that he's given to us is not enough. We need more. We want more. And I feel like when we complain about them, it's hurting his heart. And I feel that hurts my heart. I don't want to hurt God's heart. And so I think more than just, you know, wicked sin, I think it, it's a hurtful sin. That's very true. Very true. So, hey, let's commit. No complaining. I'm in. Hashtag no complaining 2020. <laughs> Father, I love you. Thank you for Jesus. And thank you for this truth. God, it is a challenge for us. And, and Lord, I, I'm, I'm raising my hand. I'm guilty. God, I ask for your forgiveness. Help us to be a thankful people. Lord, where we bring our hearts, our thoughts, our concerns to you. Please work mightily, I pray. God, I love you. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, guys, if... Did you push it? Oh, if you, um, if you struggle with this area, too, and you just want to talk about it, comment. Let us know. Text us. Whatever. Call us. We want to hear from you. Very true. Bye, guys. <laughs>